the Steiner M332 prism scope. Let's check it out. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is what is the best optic for my AR-15? A lot of guys do builds and they're buying new rifles and they're looking for a good scope uh, to put on their rifle. Uh, there are red dots, there are fixed prism type scopes, and there are also uh, variable power scopes like 1 to 4, 1 to 6, 1 to 8. And trying to decide which is best for you is really a personal preference. It's something that you need to check into. And because of that, I'm always on the outlook for good, solid scopes for the AR-15. I came across the Steiner M332 uh, just recently. It's a three-power scope. It's illuminated reticle. It's got a lot of cool features about it. And of course, what really caught my eye was the Steiner name, because Steiner is quality. And so we're going to take a look at the M332, and there's hardly any information that I've found out on YouTube. And so I thought this would be a perfect scope to bring to you guys. And to be honest, I think this is a really solid option. Now here we have the Steiner M332 mounted on a Savage Patrol 5.56 rifle. Uh, it's one of their MSR rifles. This is a great little rifle with 223 wild. I've done a full review on this. But I wanted to kind of give you a, a picture of what this looks like mounted on the rifle. This is very similar in shape and function to the ACOG. But honestly, there are some advantages to me to this scope and we're going to kind of do a little comparison between the two a little bit later of course there's no magazine we're going to double check the gun is unloaded it does have a rubberized coating over the entire body uh, which does a couple of things it keeps it protected uh, the finish protected but it also makes it quiet if you bump this you know it's not as loud you don't have that tinging sound so it's it's a dual purpose and i really like the way it looks uh, here we have our windage and of course our elevation and these have little caps uh, that are tethered and uh, they come right off. They do have a half MOA adjustment um, and all you need is a spent shell or a screwdriver and you can turn it. The clicks are really audible. It's 50 MOA adjustment for each both windage and elevation. M1913 Picatinny rail right here that you can attach a red dot. The illumination dial is right on top. It starts out with five being the brightest and has five daylight settings and then you go to your zero and then we have three moonlight settings, and then you have two night vision settings right here. And the zero is actually toward the shooter. So when you're putting the rifle on your shoulder, you can see exactly where you are in the illumination. Now one big advantage that I believe this scope has over the ACOG is it does have a focus adjustment ring. And that's mainly for people that have, you know, a little bit of issues with eyes uh, or if you wear glasses. You can dial this in to be able to really get that reticle in focus. Now these are made in Germany. It has a multi-coated lens. Uh, it is prism construction. And this has what they call the shot glass, S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, but these are nitrogen filled, which makes them fog proof, they're waterproof, and they're shock proof to a thousand G's is what they've been tested. Now it does come with a quick detach mount and there's a little locking lever here. You push it up and then you can just take and pull this off. Uh, one of the things about that is it doesn't it won't inadvertently come off until you press this to be able to lock it. And then you can just pull it right off. And of course this fits all of your Picatinny rails. Now here we have Steiner marked on the side with the M332 and it is a three millimeter by 32 objective lens. Here on the other side, of course, we have just our Steiner markings. 
but the scope is very well made. You can see the quality of the construction and it's just well done. And the battery cap is right here on top of the illumination settings and of course has a little coin slot. And it has one of the CR2032 batteries, which are very common and easy to buy in bulk on Amazon or on eBay. It does come with flip up covers and you can of course turn these either way you want to. And there are threads uh, to receive a kill flash, but I don't know if one's available. Now here we have the reticle, and this, when the illumination is turned on, is completely red. When it's not, even this red dot will be black. And this is, again, etched onto the glass. We have a 1.8 MOA dot. Uh, this is to be sighted in at 100 meters to line up your bullet drop. The lines coming out are a half MOA in width. And then we have the 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700 meters uh, for your bullet drop compensation. And I'm telling you guys, the glass on this thing is incredibly crisp. Now here we have the reticle setting, and this is at five, but it does pick up really well. We have four, three, two, one. And now we're off. Of course, you're not gonna be able to pick up those other settings, and we're back to three, four, and five. Uh, I'll just tell you guys, uh, when you look at this, through this scope by your eye, the light just picks up. I mean, it is daylight bright. Here, you can, it's gonna be more difficult to see. Now, I wanted to look at the M332 next to the tried and true ACOG. I mean, these have been battle proven for years. They're good, solid scopes, uh, but definitely pretty pricey. Uh, then you have your Steiner, which has excellent glass. Uh, they are the same length. They're five and three quarter inches in length. As far as height goes, the ACOG is three inches high, while the 332 is three and a quarter inches high. The width is the exact same. Uh, they're two and three quarter inches from button to button, uh, going from the widest point. One of the things though about the ACOG, it is trimmer and very slim. Uh, also, it only weighs nine ounces, whereas the Steiner weighs 12.5 ounces. Now we've got five daylight settings, three moonlight settings, and two night vision settings that are electronic on the M332. Uh, with the Trigicon ACOG, this has the fiber optic rod, which makes it really bright during the day, but then it has a tritium low light insert for night vision or night shooting. So there are some differences there between electronics, and even the ACOG now is going to an electronic option. Now, one other advantage of the 332 over the ACOG to a lot of people would be the eye relief. Uh, you're getting about a two and a half to three inch eye relief on the 332, whereas the ACOG is about an inch and a half. And that's always been kind of an issue with a lot of people. I, ride, I like to ride my nose pretty close to the charging handle, so that's not a big deal, but this does give you some extended eye relief. Also, this rail on top, there are screws here, and I'm sure that this can be removed. Uh, one other question that a lot of people might have is, does the mount fit an ACOG mount? Here you can see the two mounting screws at the bottom of the ACOG and the M332, and they are definitely um, a different length. But probably one of the biggest differences between the two is that the Steiner cost $629 on the Optics Planet website. Whereas most of your ACOGs, and there are a number of different models out there, run about $1,200 to $1,300. And uh, this one does have a mounting system. In fact, this is one of the uh, LaRue Tactical mounts, which is not included in that price. It has a different type mount. And yes, there are some other comparable scopes to this one out there on the market, but the glass in this one, to me, really sets this one apart as well. Now, the Trigicon has fantastic glass, but I was looking through this scope after I looked through the reticle and did some of the video, and the edge is crystal clear all the way from the outside all the way to the center. I mean, it's just crystal clear. The Steiner is made in Germany, while the Trigicon ACOG is made in the USA. Blue Lakes Ammo sent some of their remanufactured 223 55 grain full metal jacket to test out. And so we thought this would be a great rifle to test this ammunition out with. And this is their 250 round jug. Uh, and this is called their 10X target ammo. We're gonna be doing some tests with this and with some handgun ammo coming up. Now with any scope, to me it's important that I can get up close and personal, but yet I can get out to distance. 
Uh, with 3X, it's not too bad to be able to see your target. The focus isn't too far out. Uh, you're able to really be able to hit steel pretty quickly, even at 25 yards. Of course, with the capability to put a red dot on here, that really helps to get it, you know, if you're in those close and personal type engagements. And yet, you've got your 3X where you can range it out to what they say 700 meters. But at the 25 to 50 yard range, we were able to really find our steel pretty fast. Uh, not as fast as 1X because you can bring it up and see the whole field of view. And that's one of the things about having magnification, but it didn't take long to be able to find those targets. So this makes it a great home defense, self-defense option for your rifle. But also reaching out to 100, 200, and out to 300 yards. Uh, you know, we were able to hit steel with no problem. You know, the big thing is, is you've got a sight and you can see out where you're going. You can range it out if you need to. So it gives you a lot of options. And that dot is not too big. At 1.8 MOA, it doesn't cover up your sight on out to distance. Now this isn't necessarily going to give you pinpoint accuracy out to those distances, but you will definitely be able to hit man-sized targets without a problem. Uh, we were going out to about 300 yards and it was very easy to be able to hit the target. Now one of the things that I really like about a scope like this is that you have the etched reticle that's always there. And I like that. That is superior to me over a red dot. Uh, then when you go to the illumination, it gives you a lot of capability, especially in low light situations where you're not going to be able to pick up that reticle system. And so you just turn the dial up and you're able to see. And then of course if you want to add night vision to this scope, you can because it has two night vision settings. Uh, so there's a lot of good capability with this scope, whether it's law enforcement, military, or you're just a civilian taking responsibility for your self-defense, which to me, everyone should. The eye relief was good, so I didn't feel like I had to just put my nose right up on the charging handle. Uh, I still had a good, clear field of view, and the eye box is excellent. All the way around the edges, it was clear, uh, and that has a lot to do with just the Steiner glass. It's just made really well. Um, and, you know, Steiner is known for its quality in glass, and it's no different even with this M332. Now, the 3X does come in a 5.56 reticle, or you can get the 7.62 reticle model. And they also make the M536, which is a 5X prism scope. Model 536 is a larger, heavier scope. Uh, so if you're looking for something lightweight, the 3X will be better. Uh, but if you're wanting that extra range, you're going to pay with a little bit of a larger optic. Now let's talk about some pros and cons of the scope. Uh, pros first, the glass is incredibly just excellent. It's Steiner glass. It's up to par. Uh, the body is very well done. The design is nice. Uh, it is waterproof up to 10 meters. Uh, and it's shockproof up to a thousand G's that it's been tested. And what that means, <laughs> I don't know exactly, but these are fog proof. And what I really like is this focus ring. Uh, that really helps. Most of these scopes don't have that, and I really like that addition. Uh, the settings are bright, daylight bright at the top. And then, of course, you have the two night vision settings, which a lot of times scopes do not have that unless they're more of the premium style scopes. They have the low light, but not really for night vision. Has a nice Picatinny rail where you can add, you know, an optic to the top. Uh, and then, of course, it does come with the QD mount, which is a big plus. Uh, as far as cons go, uh, if you're shooting this in a really up close and personal, sometimes it takes just a second to adjust to find the target because it is at three power which, you know, is just part of what it is. And, and with the Trigicon ACOG, you'd have the same you know, issue, except even more. The reticle is decent size, but it's not super large. Uh, and so, really, for pinpoint shots, you want it smaller. Uh, and then you for the up-close and personal shots, you know, you've got that uh, illumination. Or you can pick up the reticle pretty easy, even as an etched reticle. But it's not a very large reticle. The price with some comparable reflex 3x scopes uh, this one is a little bit higher than others uh, but you know it, you get what you pay for like with anything and so really as far as cons go there's nothing within the quality or the design of the scope that I would consider a con 
but as far as compared to other scopes it's going to be again a little bit more pricier at the 629 range but yet it's going to be worth that because of the quality of the glass and the dependability of these scopes now guys always do your research before you purchase something even after watching you know a couple of reviews you know whether it's looking at a number of different video reviews or articles about this scope uh, or especially if you're not going to be able to get your hands on one before you make the purchase which that is extremely to me important to be able to see what i'm looking at but the reticle in here is nice the uh the body and the construction is really well done and then with the steiner name you know you just can't go wrong and i want to thank optics planet for sending the m332 for this test and evaluation uh, they are offering a five percent such zero zero discount i'll have links down below that you can go straight to the optic or you can just go to opticsplanet.com and use suit 00 in the coupon code. And if you've always wanted a Trigicon ACOG but just couldn't pay the price, I think that the quality in the M332 is excellent and you're getting it for about half the cost. And to support and to be a Team Suits Minute Man, you can go to patreon.com slash 00 I'll have the link down below in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. There's the red dot. Okay. The ACOG and it's three and a half inches. Oops. Here we've got them upside down. Okay. Tony. Sir. You're good. You can go hot. Going hot. And there are links where you can receive a discount.